Hi guys, welcome back to my table. Um, in this video, we're going to be wrapping this black turquoise color. I believe it's immaculate stone. Um, it's a little big, as you can see on the chart, each square is an inch. So it's like two inches by one and a half inch. Um, <laughs> it's definitely going to be a heavy honker, but we'll see what we can do. Um, what I'm going to wrap it in is I have this 20 gauge silver covered copper wire, silver colored copper wire from Bear Wire. And I don't know how long. Let's say it's going to be just under, just shy of three feet. And what we're going to do first, or what I like doing, is on when I wrap stones like this, they have the hole. This is a nice one. The hole goes from top to bottom. So it should be easier to wrap. Is I'm going to form the bale right away. Again, if you haven't seen me use these before, I got these pliers off Amazon. They're a size four, four millimeter, six millimeter. Um, any size you use, though, should be all right. And then you just keep wrapping around until we have four going across there. Then next what we want to do is lock that in once, twice, three times. That's just so like I said, it locks in and also gives us something to finish up on only near the end of the wrap. Now, with these stones that I've been getting lately, all of them, I really like the stone. And I don't want to overkill them. So, what I like to try and do is find a nice balance or minimal balance of crisscrossing wires but still able to support the stone so i'm taking one side and pushing it through and then we're just flattening the other wire across the back Flip the wires around because you just want to twist lock these on. So one, two, three, four. So that's what we have so far. Now what I want to do is I'm going to push that arm over to the side. And also I brought it straight up. Um, like I said, I like doing simple designs. Um, no harm, no foul. A lot of people like putting a swirl and stuff in there. But when you're working with stones, 
my personal belief is you want to see them stone it as much as possible. So three, four, push it down. Now we're going to the other side. Twist. Two, three, four. Push it down. Go straight across. Two. Three, four, and then bring the last wire up. them to lock it and then we can just snip that one off because we're not going to take it any further Where we'll do the same thing, get close to the bottom as possible, and slowly wrap it up. Go around the top once. finish the top with you guessed it a swirl and if you follow along I usually like to do if there's enough wire three finger width get started with the round Turn it into the stone. Push it down into the front. Like so. And just to give it a nice little finish, what I always like doing is giving them a twist and tightening the wires. Like so. Always start on back. That we can get as much of the tension 
as possible. Like so. And now in front. That's it. You got a nice little ramp around the stone. You can still see a lot of the stone, which I like. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And until the next video, as we like to say, remember everybody, be good to one another. Bye-bye.